In welding, like everything else, there are a few problems that can occur. These are a few that you might experience. Bird nesting is a common problem. This happens when the wire becomes obstructed in the gun and cannot feed properly. When this happens, wire will collect around the drive rolls. The result, a bird nest. It can be caused by the wrong size contact tip or a tip in poor condition. Replace the tip with the correct size for the wire. Bird nesting can be caused by a plugged or kinked gun liner. In this situation, it will be necessary to replace the gun liner. See your owner's manual for the correct procedure. An obstruction on the wire between the gun and the drive rolls can also result in bird nesting. Other causes of bird nesting include too much drive roll tension and the gun not inserted into the drive housing properly. If you have a bird nest, remove it by flipping up the drive roll. Pull the wire completely away, then refeed the wire, making sure that there are no kinks or strong bends in the wire. Burn back can occur if the wire feed speed is set too slow or if the gun is set too close to the work. This will cause the wire to burn back into the contact tip. If this happens, you'll have to replace the tip. Remove the nozzle and unscrew the tip. Be aware that the tip may have welded to the wire. Snip the wire off. Replace the tip, making sure it is the same size, and tighten. Reinstall the nozzle, making sure that the contact tip is flush with the nozzle. Shielding gas protects the weld pool from contaminants in the air. These contaminants can result in poor wells. Signs of poor wells caused by poor gas coverage include porosity or pinholes in the weld. Here are a few tips that can help you avoid this problem. Make sure that the gun is securely tightened with the knob. Make sure that your gas connections are correct and secure. Then check the flow gauge to make sure that the tank has sufficient gas. When adjusting your flow, remember that a typical flow rate is 20 to 30 CFH. All Millermatics are equipped with thermal overload protection. This is done to prevent damage to the Millermatic. The duty cycle of each machine determines how long it can be run in a 10 minute period at its rated output before it must be allowed to cool. This period will vary depending upon which Millermatic you are using. Check your manual to determine what your duty cycle is. When the duty cycle is exceeded, you'll be unable to weld while the unit cools. When the unit has cooled down, the circuit will reset itself and you'll be able to continue to weld. It's not necessary to power down the unit during cool down. The fan operation will speed up the cool down process. Continually subjecting your Millermatic to thermal overload may cause permanent damage. For other problems you may have in welding, check the section of this CD titled Frequently Asked Questions.